As you probably know, the theme of this year's uh, parade and festival is a tribute to our veterans. You're going to see a lot of floats with the veteran themes, thanking them. And there'll be an honor guard coming. They just got done the memorial service at the uh, memorial park up here. So we're just coming down the hill, ready to start. And I do want to take this opportunity to thank all the veterans, the ones that are in the crowd, the ones that are watching, any relation to the veterans. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here today. says to turn up the volume on your mic a little bit. Yeah. Okay, here's HPD leading off the parade. Great fellas, great department, but hope I never need them. <laughs> Looks like we got Captain America coming. Followed by our one of our units of the rescue squad. Let's give a hand to the rescue squad for all the work they do. Coming across the bridge now, we have American Legion Post 7. And guys, we thank you for your service. Let's give them a great hand for all they've done to preserve our freedoms. Then we have the Sons of American Legion right behind them. Here come the cars with our Grand Marshals, members of the Legion Post 7, the Bronco driven by Kyle Perry, and the Mustang GT by Betsy Brown. <coughs> Well, that looks like Willie McAllister in there. Hey, Willie. <laughs> Thank you for your service.
Ford Qantas, the big sponsors of this parade. Thank you, veterans. <laughs> by the Hazen Union Pride. Just coming across the bridge, we got Start Construction out of Wheel Lock. And their theme as veterans, lest we forget. We got Mike Benway in his T-Bird. Keeps that car in great shape. Now we got the Hardwick Area Women's Softball League. Hey, Vicky. Looking good. Now we got the Hardwick Area Little League. And don't forget at 2 o'clock, up at the field behind elementary school, is the Tristan Southworth Memorial kickoff game. <laughs> That's the best thing I heard. Go Red Sox! Hardwick Child and Family Development Program, Head Start, Hometown Heroes. Thank you, heroes. Everybody keeping with the theme this year of thanking our veterans and showing our appreciation. Now we have K&D Tree Service. Ken and Dorothy Camley just started their own business back in November. <clears throat> and now we have Amanda Cochran running for Vermont State Senate. And make sure everybody gets out and vote this November. It's going to be very important. <clears throat> As you can see now, coming across the bridge, Bread and Puppet Theater, always a staple here in our Hardwick Parade.
Papa for making an appearance every year. We appreciate it. <laughs> Love an enthusiastic crowd. <clears throat> now I believe we have the Division Three girls state basketball champions. And boy, if you saw them play this year, you would have been overwhelmed. They could really play. Congratulations, girls. You did your town proud. Now we have Lucia Barn Builders thanking the veterans. Selling Calhoun superstructures all over New England. Hey, Susie. <laughs> oh, they're they're coming perfect, right speed. Now we have the Hardwick Martial Arts specializing in karate and jujutsu. Oh. We have a couple of dirt bikes ridden by Eric Gilman and Ethan Lapierre. And Mystery Music DJ by Harlan Autry, located right in East Hardwick, I believe, at mysterymusiccd at gmail.com. We pound the sound at all parties and events. Followed by the Judavine Library, Freedom and Unity. Now we have Brian Perry and Sons Construction and Perry Motorsports. And they're towing car number 92. That's the one driven by Jaden Perry. And thanking our veterans. What a sharp looking car. Until the third lap when it gets bumped. <laughs> what a pretty car. Bartlett Family Farm. Zach and Paige Bartlett. We're up there in Greensboro, Ben, selling all kinds of beef and pork. Just give them a call. And we have car number 28. Oh, I got it written down here somewhere. Alan Robarge out of Hardwick in the Enduro, winter Enduro, eight inches of snow. Now we have Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, owned by Joey and Sue Rivard and Helen Gates. Always a good turnout for the parade, and we appreciate it. Buffalo Mountain Market coming across. Now they have just extended their hours starting June 1st 
They are going to be open 8 to 8 on weekdays and 8 to 7 on Sundays. They've been doing so much business, they had to expand their hours. A great addition to Hardwick. Buffalo Mountain Market. <laughs> what a wonderful parade today. Lots of floats. Celebrating our veterans. Now we have the Green Mountain Tech Center. Uh, specializing in forestry and ag. This is our FFA chapter. They won the state championship in cattle judging, dairy cattle, and they are now headed to the nationals in Indianapolis. So go FFA, bring us home a trophy. Good luck, hometown heroes. Now we have the Honey Bee, Honey Bee Steel Band. Their theme this year is by, by Stevie Wonder called Higher Ground and they're commemorating our flood. Salvation Farms out of Morrisville. Helping build resilience in Vermont food systems through using ag surplus management. Wonderful outfit. Then we got the Mitchard Family Farm in Kingdom Creamery right up in East Hardwick. The John Deere 60, 1952, driven by Dennis. A farm all wide front end MD 1941 driven by Dawson and then the old Ford Jubilee 1954 driven by the old guy sitting in the iron seat Mark Newhamall. Quite a lineup of antique tractors. Still in great shape for their age. Drivers too. Now we have Tammy Weatherall out of East Hardwick, I believe, with her Corgi Pups. They're all for sale. Don't go see Jimmy though, he's a hard negotiator. <laughs> Hardwick Conservation Commission, connecting people with the land. Nice exhibit. Hey Cheryl. That Patrick in there. <laughs> the next float by our loving family with all their baby goats. Look at those baby goats. Now we have number five, Trevor Hess of Hardwick with his enduro car, followed by a couple dirt bikes and a four-wheeler driven by Mad Nostin. And here come the fire departments. <coughs> The 1927 Hardwick Fire Department. <coughs> Hardwick Fire Department and Rescue.
with all of today's modern equipment. They do a wonderful job. Hope you never need them. Equipped to go out in all kinds of weather, and they have. Forget after the parade, head down to the field. Lots of stuff, lots of food. Going to be there all day. What a day. Now we have the Wolka Fire Department. And don't forget, all these fire departments are on mutual aid. They help each other out. They stand by. They all work together. Thank you, Wolka. Right behind them, another mutual aid member, our Walden neighbors. Thank you, Walden, for coming down as you do every year. We appreciate it. Coming across, we have the Woodbury Callis Fire Department. And again, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. And all fire departments work together through mutual aid. For coming down today and again another member of the mutual aid of all the fire departments where they really work together and help each other out Fire departments just coming across the bridge. Yankee Doodlebug Backcountry Tours. Just call them for a ride. And the second Hydro Rescue Squad closing down the parade. 
And we thank you for all your service. These guys are fantastic, giving their time up to do this. Hope you enjoyed the parade. I want to thank our, all our sponsors. We get down to the field, we'll announce them. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Get down to the field. Have a great family day. We don't always get this weather. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Joyce. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs>